Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick video going over the Power Apps forms. Just going to do a quick overview of what they are, how to get there, and how to get involved with them. So Microsoft Power Platform has a really, really strong community built around it, made up of thousands of people across the world. And one of the cool ways to access this community is through the Power Platform forms. Now they have forms for Power BI, Power Automate, but today we're going to be showing you the Power Apps forms. It's a great area to reach out for help on a project. If you're stumped on something, it's a great tool to learn, uh, as well as view some updates on Power Apps and release plans. So to get to the forms, it's really easy. You can just start out on your Power Apps kind of home screen, and over here on the left, we can click on the Learn button. And over here on the right, under this Community section, we can click Join In, and that'll open up a link. And now we can see that we're on the Power Apps Community Forms. So we'll just do a brief overview of some of what you see here. Before you start posting anything, it'll request that you make an account. A really simple process. You just make a username, um, that sort of thing, and then you can start engaging. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see there's news and announcements on Power Platform, and here are the forms. They're broken out into different topics, you know, building Power Apps, just kind of a general section for anything to do with Power Apps, um, Dataverse, AI Builder Forms, Governance, Pro Dev. Power Apps portals, and we can continue scrolling down, uh, connector development, Power Query, and keep going down. They have stuff for integrations. Um, there's a community blog. And then down here, some other stuff. Uh, community app samples is a pretty cool place. Uh, community connections and how-to videos. So overall, it's just a really great area for anyone at any skill level working with Power Apps. So for this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the building Power Apps section. Uh, this is probably where most questions will go to. As you can see, it has the most posts out of any of these. Um, so if we go ahead and click this. So now we're in the building Power Apps section of the forms. Uh, we can scroll down and see that these are all posts made by users uh, that might be looking for some more insight on problems they might be having. Um, so if we keep scrolling down, we can see that uh, anyone marked with a green check mark means that it has a solution for it. So we'll just go in and take a peek at one of these that has a solution. So if we click on this one right here, we can see that this user here is looking to filter a data source by multiple columns from one text search field. Um, and we can see it has a solution. They've gone and posted what they're looking to do. They've posted what their code is right now. And if we click on go to solution, uh, it'll scroll us down to the solution that was accepted for this. And you can see someone has gone in here and said, you know, try something like this and posted some PowerFX code. So again, if you're running into an issue with your PowerFX code or an app in general, uh, chances are someone else out there has also experienced that um, and made a post about it on these forms. So it's a great place to uh, go in and search to see if someone else um, has found a solution to it. So for an example, let's say we have an issue sending an email. Um, we can come up here to the right and say search all content and just say send email. And it'll start auto-populating based on the subject of people's posts. And we can say, hey, here, send email v2 error. That looks like what we're experiencing. You can go ahead and click on that, um, take a look at what uh, issue they're running into, and then view the solution and see if that works for you. So now we'll head back to the forms again. Um, and if we actually wanted to create a post ourselves, we just click on this new message option, again, after creating an account. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And this is the screen where you'll actually build out your question or issue. So we can enter a subject of our problem. And then this body down here allows us to post a little bit more um, in depth about what we're looking to do or what issue we're running into. And then you can pick some relevant labels on the side. Um, you can also upload attachments um, if you need to send photos of your code, photos of your app. Um, that sort of thing, that's always helpful. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is populate this with kind of a sample problem um, and show you some do's and don'ts and why you wanna structure things in a certain way. So I'm back, I've just kind of populated this with a mock-up issue. Um, my subject is just saying, hey, creating a new record in a SharePoint issue. Um, I start out with a little bit of description about what I'm trying to do. I'm saying I'm building an application that sends a record to a SharePoint list. I'm clicking the button, but the record's not going to SharePoint. There's also no, no issues uh, when I click the button. Uh, I'm sending the relevant PowerFX code. Um, I'm sending the table name that I'm trying to send to, as well as how my columns are structured and just asking for any insight. Um, you know, the fix here is that the table name is not the same as what I'm sending to, so I'm just creating a collection when doing this. But just kind of shows you a little bit about how you might want to structure some of this stuff. Obviously, there's no one way to structure it, but it's just important to know that you should give as much detail as you can because someone on the other end might always not know what you're trying to do. So being as descriptive as possible is really helpful for someone that wants to come in um, and try to take a look at your problem. Another thing to note is that if you're going to be posting any images, um, whether it be for a app or a flow on the Power Automate forms, just make sure that you're not inadvertently sending out any information that you don't want out as these are public forms, um, you know, stuff like user names, passwords, SharePoint site addresses, IP addresses, or if you have a data source that has personal information and in, just that type of thing. So if we we're all ready to submit this, we would just click a label um, and then we would scroll down here to post. 
um, and then that would actually go ahead and post this on that screen we were at earlier. So this pretty much concludes our video today. Um, again, the Power Apps forums and the community in general is a great thing to be a part of. Um, there's a lot of very helpful people out there that are willing to assist uh, if you do run into any issues or if you're just wondering maybe how to approach a project, um, great place to post, stuff like that as well. So thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.